Hey everyone, happy Wednesday from the beach here in San Diego. It's so super crazy because I used to live in San Diego, have not been back in over five years. And it's so crazy because this is exactly where Brian and I met 16 years ago, surfing right at this very beach. Um, pretty crazy to be back. But uh, I want to use this um, time actually as a lesson because as all you know, although I may be traveling here in San Diego, going to an event um, to not only gain more knowledge for me, which is to raise myself and raise my levels for 2015 because my mission of course is to uh, improve myself and to be a better person and a, a better form of me every single day, right? A better, better version of myself every single day. And you do that by reading, right? And I've listened to, uh, uh, gosh, I completed the book today, The Happiness of Pursuit by Chris Gibo, amazing. And I also uh, finished the book by Napoleon Hill, which is, what's it called? Defending the Devil or Defeating the Devil. Unbelievable. I'll make sure I post it because it's an incredible book. It shows, he does an interview, uh, Napoleon Hill did back in 29, of him talking to the devil, right? And what the devil says about how he actually, or how whatever the devil is, right? That's just evil powers, right? How we become so succumbed, our minds become so incredibly weak. And um, it's a powerful, powerful book, an incredible interview of Napoleon Hill uh, talking to the devil and how so many of us are uh, swayers and we, we lose that controlled thought. We allow things like, you know, alcohol or being mad at someone or smoking or blame, really defeating emotions to block us from really being our amazing self. So I want to actually use this moment for this video because I actually was just confronted with something, as you know, work still continues, right, even though I'm here. I get a message from one of a member. She's uh, in our tribe. She's like a third party down inside of our tribe. Still acceptable. Everyone's accepted into our tribe. Um, but this person has continued to show signs of lack of personal responsibility, blaming, um, always wanting more and more people to do more things for her, her really not taking the the stand for what she actually wants. And instead of um, doing it on her own, she'd rather blame someone else and say that they're wrong or that they've caused her grief or problems. And um, insulting tribe members and insulting people, our leaders you know, in our group. And so today we unfortunately um, had to politely say, you know, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to remove you from the group if you continue this. This is like her sixth, seventh time where we've been patient, we've been respectful. We've said, listen, you know, um, you just need to take responsibility. You need to stop doing this. We delete her messages and just really have allowed her to give her space to grow. Well, unfortunately, instead of growing, she just continues and continues to use it as really a platform for her lack of responsibility. And so what I want to put this message up just to one of you guys, what would you do if you had someone that's in your group um, that is not taking personal responsibility, that is really blaming everyone for their results? See, typically, that's what most people do instead of showing that they keep saying the right words. I want this, I want this, I'm gonna do this, but I need your help. See, we don't ever need someone's help. It's because we're too afraid to really get what we want. We're too afraid to take that, those steps, what it takes, which is difficult to get what you want. See, more people will assist you in what you want out of life if you show and you prove that you're willing to assist yourself. And unfortunately, this certain person, as much as we still care and love, we still have to show and give them the best possible form of advice. And sometimes it hurts, and sometimes it's not what you expect. You think everyone is all peace and love, right? But it can still be peace and love, but you still have to be able to teach someone. Just like a parent sometimes has to make their child feel sad because they have to teach them what it takes to be respectful, what it takes to gain people's respect, and what it takes to truly, truly have and show others that um, you're out here for for the absolute best of good and sometimes it hurts. So what would you guys do if you actually had, hi guys. <laughs> See, it's always so cool when you do videos, like people always look like, what are you doing? Um, what would you guys do? What would you guys do if you had someone like that that's on your group, on your team, or just even part of your family, doesn't take responsibility, you know, how would you act? What would you do? Post it below, because I know I'm sure this person is probably gonna start blasting loudly. It's okay, I still love you, I still care about you, and I still think you can do it, but I also want you to, to learn to take some personal responsibility so that we can also help you. So cheers guys, be unstoppable. Love to hear your unstoppable comments, cheers.